So there's two main messages I want people to take away from this video. One of which is that the world's leading manga magazine Shonen Jump by next year 2017 will be radically different and honestly I feel impacted greatly over some of the changes they've made and some of the series that have ended and they've canceled off the list of series this year and following into next year as well. And another thing is that just because the industry is changing, the anime and manga world is changing, there are still incredible series out there but before we get to that part let's talk about the changes so i've been following this for six years now i've been looking at what's the you know most popular what's going on you know i've had my finger on the pulse of anime and manga for the past six years and i can tell you right now that this is one of the most uncertain times in regards to this magazine in particular because shonen jump is the leading most popular all the series that we know and love usually come from here there's the exceptions of course but the main popular ones the naruto's the bleach the one piece you know all of those series Series come from this magazine and by this time next year 90% of these series that we know and love and are very extremely popular over here will be completely gone so Naruto already ended I mean we have the Boruto manga but let's be honest here it's never going to be the same and right now nobody really cares too much for the Boruto manga but Naruto gone Bleach by next month will be gone. So Naruto and Bleach, two of the most biggest manga, which is why I feel as though this era of manga really is almost over because it used to be the big three, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, everybody arguing which series is better, who's better main character. All of that is definitely already been impacted with Naruto's ending, but now Bleach is ending as well. So two out of the big three will be gone. And that's something that already heavily impacts. But on top of that, the magazine's most popular series are constantly either the ending or getting axed left and right again naruto bleach assassination classroom kuroko no basket gintama nisekoi even toriko all of these series huge contenders and will be gone which kind of leads me to believe okay then what is shonen jump really banking on if they're letting these humongous stories go like even if they're ending because let's not get it twisted you know all these series if they really wanted to they could have kept them going if they wanted kuroko to keep going they could have kept it going so with all of these series ending what is left for shonen jump we still have one piece the big piece we always will have one piece at least for a while longer we have years and years of one piece so i think that's one of the biggest reasons why shonen jump doesn't necessarily care too much about letting all these series go is that one piece is the leading manga title in the world so it's kind of like it doesn't matter let all these series go one piece is still going to carry us but aside from one piece what is left they have haikyuu haikyuu can go the same way of kuroko i mean if he really wants to take it to okay i'm done already haikyuu will go out the window which haikyuu is still pretty popular as well it's very popular so we'll have one piece haikyuu boku no hero academia my hero academia which my hero academia i love it i think it's an awesome series i think it's a great kind of continuation of the shonen mold that naruto and bleach and one piece have you know kind of pioneered in a way not pioneered because it was dragon ball and stuff like that but popularized more in the west and stuff like that it's definitely great but based on sales and based on tv rankings of the anime it's not exploding the volume sales aren't really that fantastic i mean assassination classroom i think volume one did six hundred thousand. my hero academia is like what 10 volumes in i want to say and it's doing about 148,000 first week which is good but that's not humongous and that's not something like on the naruto bleach and one piece level so my hero academia it's okay popular it's nothing you know out of this world black clover black clover it sells barely a hundred thousand in its first week so that's really good considering it doesn't have an anime but if you look at it you're losing these humongous titles like nisei koi does about two three hundred thousand first week sales bleach does about that as well gintama toriko all these series do that and then some like naruto in its heyday was selling a million first week you, you get what i'm saying so you're replacing it with barely a hundred thousand about 150 000. One piece again don't get it twisted one piece is still the monster hunt the hunter it comes and goes like tagashi gives us a volume a year probably if that so hunt the hunter can really class it like i think hunt the hunter will continue going after one piece like tagashi is gonna see two more eras of mangaka before it's finally put to rest and aside from that in this magazine the only other series i would say is somewhat notable is world trigger and that doesn't really sell fantastic either so as far as shonen jump the leading manga magazine in the world goes it definitely makes me question what is their mindset i believe one of the things and one of the reasons why they're just allowing all these series to go is because the chief editor was if i'm correct promoted or transferred to the u.s weekly shonen jump and they have a new chief editor so i don't know if this new blood this new guy is like hey you know we're 
we're, we're starting fresh, we're doing everything fresh, and that's why he's allowing all these titles to go left and right, or what's up, but I personally think that these are terrible decisions. Eventually, another magazine, like Weekly Shonen Magazine, is going to come and say, hey, you guys are no longer the leaders, we have fairy tale, we have this and that, and that's when Shonen Jump is gonna get off their ass and say, yo, we screwed up, and try their best to salvage themselves, but who knows, it might be too late. Now, the Shonen Jump's blunders and their lack of success in the future mean that the manga world in general is going to chaos? No, there's still plenty of other incredible series, popular series. I mean, we have Attack on Titan, we have Fairy Tale, we have The Seven Deadly Sins, we have Tokyo Ghoul. There's still plenty of great series out there, and the personal ones that I would recommend, and I'll give you reasons why I recommend them, and for who I'll recommend them. Black Clover, if you like Naruto and Fairy Tale, it's a nice mixture of that. I'll definitely say it's not as great as Naruto, and it doesn't do certain things that Fairy Tale does, but it's still something that I think Naruto and Fairy Tale fans will like. That is very simple, very chill. The main character is awesome and enjoyable. So I'll say that I'll recommend that. And likewise with My Hero Academia, if you like something like Naruto, but you want instead of ninjas, superpowers and stuff like that, My Hero Academia as well. I mean, if you've seen any of my anime reviews of it or some of my older chapter reviews of it, My Hero Academia is a great replacement shown in for Naruto or Bleach as well. And as far as Gintama goes, there's no really great replacement for that. And Toriko, I was never a big fan of as well, but they're still incredible. Like one of the best series that I personally review right now is Tokyo Ghoul Re. Tokyo Ghoul, phenomenal. If you want one of the best of the best, but it's still not going to go to the extreme of like, oh, it's too deep and complex. I don't understand anything. Definitely go with Tokyo Ghoul. Like Tokyo Ghoul is bottom line, one of the best manga that I review that I absolutely love and adore. And I think that anybody that wants something really good, but you're also going to get that incredible action that you will love from like a shonen and stuff like that, you should go with Tokyo Ghoul. And there's other great series as well out there like Magi. I mean, I don't review it right now, but Magi is incredible as well. And the whole message of this video is the era of the big three is really over. By next month, Bleach is gone and all we'll have is One Piece. And, you know, it's the big one at this point. The old generation is done. And I can't wait to see what the new generation brings to the table. Right now, it's kind of iffy what's going to be the next big thing because there's still series that are kind of taking up a lot of people's attention. But once Bleach goes next month, I'm kind of curious where those fans are going to go. Are they going to go to Black Clover? Are they going to go to My Hero Academia, Seven Deadly Sins? like well it's safe to say they're probably not gonna go to fairy tale but you get what i mean but let me know what you guys think about this first of all do you think that shonen jump getting rid of all these series letting all these series go is a good thing a bad thing how do you feel by this time next year the manga industry is going to be considering shonen jump won't have all these incredibly popular titles to keep them going and continue being the biggest magazine of manga in the world any overall thoughts of this discussion honestly this is something that i'm really passionate about so i definitely wanted to bring it into video form because i was talking about it on twitter and i felt like as though I needed to get you guys' opinions. What do you guys think about all of this and the future of manga in particular, especially Shonen Jump? But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more, from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Fun of the World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.